Good morning, World Lit Class. This is David. I will be doing my ethnography project on drawing. Drawing definitely has a deep significance to me because it is a way of expressing myself, my thoughts. It is a way to pass time and just entertain myself. It is also my like only talent, so it's nice to share with the world, you know, for people to see. Uh, it definitely has a ritual behind it, especially for me, because if you do the process correctly, that will give you a good result and that's definitely necessary to do a good job. So there isn't much native language behind it except certain terms that are used to describe techniques used or tools used for drawing. Examples of this are things like hatching, cross hatching, shading, and blending. Hatching is simple straight lines all going in one direction. I'll show you this. basically hatching. Cross hatching is doing lines going the opposite direction. So that took like a bunch of little squares in between, just crossing. Then we have blending, I mean shading. You make shades in objects um, where light doesn't hit. Just make it smooth. And we have blending. I'll do this. Blending just makes the shading and the lines a lot smoother. Makes the drawing look a lot smoother and more realistic. Um, I also, oh, other terms I have is different gradients of pencils. For example, here we have four different types. Going from left to right, it's lighter and it goes to darker. The higher this number is before the B, the darker it'll be. I also have uh, graphing pencils that are very light for light lines. I have all lead pencils, just different tools. And yeah. As I will demonstrate in a bit, there's a certain chronological order in the process that I do my drawings in. I first find a relaxing spot, usually next to a window because I enjoy the natural light. I also usually listen to music to help me pass the time quicker. I gather my drawing notebook my box with all my pencils and tools and sometimes a picture I reference off maybe with my mechanical graphing pencil I make the outlines and sketch because it's very light and erasable I then use a HB pencil or a 2B pencil to go over it and make the lines that are going to be there it is all a process of adding darker and darker layers on top of the past one. So for the final process of the pencil part, I use a 4B or a 6B pencil to do the darkest parts of the shading in the drawing. And once that is completed, I use the blending tool throughout all parts of the drawing or all parts of the shading basically to make the marks of the pencils look smoother. This makes the drawing look a lot more realistic and is honestly one of the strongest aspects of my drawings. At the end, I clean up any smudges or marks around the drawing to make it look cleaner, then sign my artwork. To be truthful about how I feel when I do my ritual or drawing, I get very excited and inspired to be able to start something new. Um, it's so exciting to me that I may work on it for 
days, hour, countless hours, sometimes up to like some weeks. But after a while, the process and how long it takes is boring. So I may start something new if I'm inspired by something else. So when I'm drawing, I feel like I can escape reality, escape from the everyday life and just focus on something that's in front of me. I feel productive, like I'm actually doing something good for myself and for the world, especially when I show people my drawings and they give me compliments. It really pushes me to do better or make more art. And that's... It's really nice, you know, to get compliments or when people just tell me they're a fan of the stuff I do. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys like it, I guess. <laughs>